Hey, it's Kobe, and this is how I make a sad pop song in five minutes. The way that I approach it is I make a bare bones beat, and then I add lyrics and fill out a song over the top of that. I usually just make half of the song, and then I double the song up if I like the song enough and I think it's worth finishing. So this is the first step, the bare bones beat. This track I was going for a combo of chill and sad, and a sine wave with some bit crush on it is my go-to for that. This one I made in Omnisphere. Hey there, squirt. <laughs> Did you just call me squirt? Yeah. <laughs> I'm making a video just now. Hey everyone, say hello to my brother. Hey guys. Oh, she literally just called me squirt. Hey guys, it's Nicole. <laughs> you just literally called me squirt. <laughs> I have so many nicknames, but squirt. <laughs> squirt has never been one of them. All right. What's up? I was just coming to look Chico. at your speakers. Oh, right. These ones? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's them. All right, I'll leave you to it. All right, happy? <laughs> Squirt. Cheeky bit of bit crash. Can't go wrong. Add a nice counter melody. Then I go straight on to a simple drum pattern. And then just throw in a bass so that it's well rounded. That's just a nice thick Reese bass. Duh. Bah. <laughs> Come on, nice hearing, please do not make the whole project crash. Oh god, the blue circle of death. Bah. Oh, we might be all right. That is the bare bones beat. Then I got the vocalist that I worked on this track with, Jessica Johnson. She and I just sat with that bare bones beat and just pretty much wrote the whole song over the top. Then all the other details, the guitars, the swelling and ebbing and flowing, all the sound effects and stuff, I would sculpt that around the vocal. Writing the lyrics, pick your topic. We had to figure out what it was we wanted to say and what it was about. And this one, it was about loss and friendship. We just wrote down whatever ideas came to our mind about that. We built some verses and then we built a chorus. All over you, all the reasons I shouldn't stay. So just run to the sun, rise and new light. So that was my verse and then Jess's verse. Trying every little thing to keep you close. And I'd even bleed for you Keep falling for you just like I always do Till I've given my love away So I fall through the dark Feel the colors break apart and drift away that was pretty much the entire song. Anything else from there was just additional production on the top that I could just throw in to make it even more satisfying for the ears. It doesn't sound too bad with those elements, but I wanted to maximize the emotional experience of the song. Something about electric guitar is just so emotional every time. It's like piano and electric guitars, I, I reckon in a thousand years from now, we will still be using electric guitars and pianos. The electric guitar I used in this was from an arcade patch from Output in the note kits. It's called Resolve. The note kits in arcade are so good, instead of having to use lots of samples and chop them all up, you actually have individual notes that you can play to whatever your melodies are. I was hesitant to even show this guitar patch because I always wanted to keep it as my little secret because I love the sound of it so much, but yeah. It's just such a wonderful sound. Output sent me an affiliate link for Arcade. It's linked below. If you check it out, even just testing out the free trial, it will support me and the channel. Just have some fun with it. Now I had pretty much the entire track, but I also added in a bunch of ear candy just to really spice everything up. I took the sine wave synth that I put at the beginning and made a bunch of atmospheres in it, risers, fallers, and paired that with a bunch of white noise risers and fallers, and some waves. And then lastly, added in all of this really cool ear candy, natural sounds like clocks ticking, birds chirping.
all of that creates some really cool impact so that the emotional experience of whatever the lyrics are singing about is really emphasized and I love little things like that. It just makes all the difference. And see how much vocal automation I have here? I'm just pushing up and down the reverb so that it's like coming really intimate and it sounds really sad and then it sounds way bigger. I really wanted to emphasize the vocals here when she's singing about like a butterfly inside my mind. Fly inside my mind, they'll float away from here. So I can pull all the vocal effects down all the way up to that section. So when they're up higher, everything feels more expansive, and when it's lower, everything feels more intimate. I don't wanna lie another time than give into the fear. Same with one who said give into the fear, because that line was really important, because the whole song was about being able to move on from someone, even though it feels like you're losing them, you have to be able to let go and move on and not give in to the fear of what might happen when you make that decision. I wanted that line to really hit home. Of course, there's no way I can show you all of this without mentioning all the pads and harmonies that we did. This was one of my favorite things about this song. Butterfly inside my mind, the float away from here. If you've been watching my vocal series, you'll understand the process I've gone through to record and mix all of these vocals. I will talk in more detail in the future about pads and harmonies and how I usually go about putting them all together. We wanted a creative bridge section. That's what this whole bit is. So we can experiment more, add other weird, cool vocals that just add to the emotional journey of the song. Every time I listen to those vocals, I'm blown away. I just think they were so well performed. I just love it. To put this whole section together, I had created a vocal pad with Jess. By creating something like that, I can just put it wherever I would like to because it follows the same chord progression as the song. I then got Jess to record some random words just speaking into the microphone. Some of it was relevant and maybe made sense and some of it didn't, but it didn't really matter. I would then run it through like a weird talking like phone sound. I wanted the world for you. I think literally one of the lines was I don't know what I'm saying because we weren't really sure what to go for, but I actually think it worked really well in the end. So you got my lead vocal. With all my love until the Jess's lead vocal. With, With all my love until the Then left and right layers from both of us. With all my love until the and Then harmonies from both of us. Then ad libs from both of us. And drifts away. Memory There we go. Mix it together, master it. You've got yourself a finished sad pop song. The song is here if you want to go listen to it. Can't wait to share the next video with you. And until then, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Bye. Distant memory with all my love untethered.